So Autodesk have just spun up a new community resource that they're calling the Autodesk Bozo, which is looking like it's going to be a pretty good. Oh, mm, what? The do, do do. The do do. Look, it's called the Autodesk do. Do jo. Oh, the, the Autodesk do do jo do. The Autodesk Dojo, they're calling it. So this video is mostly, for, well, there's two reasons though I'm making this video. This, the secondary reason is to let you know that it exists, let you know what it's all about, let you know that it's there, give it a bit of publicity because Christ, it's going to need it. And then the, the primary purpose of the video is to mock the stupid name that they've given it with good reason as well. And I'll go through that a little bit later on. So without any further ado, mate, let's get into it. All right, all jokes aside uh, for now, uh, I'm mocking the name and if you are fully familiar with the word dojo and what it means, that then good for you. Look, just hold fire on flaming me for that until the end, because I've got good reason for, for being like that. But in all seriousness, this site is actually really good. Uh, I've got a Discord server, links in the description, click the join button, that gets you in there if you join the channel. But in that Discord server, quite a fair few people have asked for exactly this. They've said, is there an area with an Autodesk where you can join a group of peers, of people who have similar interests to you where you can talk nerdy stuff and the answer has always been no no you can go to the forums and, and post like threads and stuff but your, your thread just gets buried ultimately depending on which forum you go to it just goes into a big black hole so this is exactly what a lot of people i've heard have asked for and it looks really good it's got awesome promise it's just a sh it's just a shame the flipping name man honestly links in the description it'll take you over to here this is the community dojo and um yeah it, what it is, it's a, it's an area where you, not Autodesk, where you can create your own group and then invite people in and then talk about whatever you want. You can host events. You can, it's it's a it's just a group meeting facility where you can gather, you can discuss whatever you want. Collaboration area. I don't think it's meant to be used in for like for internal company things. This is sort of a wider Autodesk sort of community cross-country, cross-borders kind of thing uh, for meeting people that you don't know and sort of networking type of a thing. Uh, that's its intention. And they do say that you're not limited either to just talking about Autodesk products or anything to relate to Autodesk products. It can be about anything, really. Uh, I assume they, they want it to be limited to, to kind of the industry. But they did say in the video, this one here, which I'll not play in its fullest. It's three minutes long. I don't want to add that to my video, but... They did say that it's not necessarily only about Autodesk products, but have a play through this video. It tells you what it's all about. So in addition to giving you a platform to create a group, Autodesk also give you uh, like knowledge articles for how to uh, build a community and like, host events. They also give you subsidies for managing the groups and hosting meetups, like Zoom, for example. I think they give you the ability to, to access Zoom and then use that. Hopefully it's all integrated in the group areas. Uh, they also give you access to Autodesk staff. So for the likes of this, you can do this on somewhere like Discord, for example. That's a group area where you can invite people in and talk about stuff. But this is giving you the access to Autodesk staff, group leaders and knowledge. They call them thought leaders in the video, which just made me want to sort of pull my teeth out. But then you get access to people who know what they're talking about in uh, mentors, I guess, mentors, where you can, uh, you can pull them in and, and reference as part of your group. So... Anyone can create a group. I think there's a there's a process to go through, and it's early days, so there's probably change to be had here. Hopefully the name, I'll get to that. I will get to that. Don't worry. Most of this video will be about the name, because uh, I, I think it's it's more than just a stupid name. There's more to it than that. But yeah, have a good read through this page. If it looks like it's something that you're interested in, if you feel like you're lacking this kind of engagement with other people to talk about the things that you need help with or that you're interested in, then this could be right up your street. It looks like a brilliant idea. So take a look at that. Links in the description. That'll take you to this page. Watch the video first. That'll give you a good feel for what it is. And then have a scat through all the links and whatnot. Right, let's talk about the name. Let's talk about that name. Um, that's all I've got for the video itself, like for the actual thing, uh, the dojo. If that's all you wanted to know, uh, I, don't know <laughs> I don't know why, because I called the video the bozo. But that's, that's the point. If I'd called this video the commute, you need to know about the Autodesk Dojo. You wouldn't have clicked it. I guarantee it. You wouldn't have done. But if, if that's all you wanted to know, video's done. Thanks very much. Feel free to go and have a look at it. I'm now going to proceed into a rant about the name of it and why they should change it. So, 
I've communicated all this to Autodesk already in one of the channels that I'm in, right? I got the email through about this a few weeks ago to the inbox for my expertly status thing. Uh, and it said, we we're doing this community dojo thing. And I, I got back in touch with Autodesk and said, look, I'm not ashamed to admit, right? That I've, and I can say this quite confidently because I've been around on the planet for 40 years. And when you've been around for 40 years, you kind of get to a point where you can confidently say that if you've never heard of something or you've never experienced something, you're not the problem. I've been around quite a bit. I've traveled a lot. I've had lots of relationships with people, business relationships, personal relationships. I've met a lot of people. I've been to a lot of places. And in all my 40 years on the planet, I'm not kidding you. I have never once ever heard of the word dojo. I've never come across it. I have no idea what it is. Not a flipping goddamn clue. Not even an inkling. It could have been, it, it could have been a sex toy for all I know. That's kind of where I was at with the word dojo. Not a damn clue. I had to Google it. I Googled it and it was a Buddhist word that meant Japanese martial arts temple of learning of something like that. And then that was that was it. It was immediately clear at that point why I'd never heard of it. Like, what, at what point in my life would I have ever come across that word? Sure. I might have heard the word mentioned in a film or in a TV show out of context, but I could say lots of words in videos to you just in passing. Nerf, for example. I could just say, I'm going to nerf this, uh, I'm just going to nerf this video. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nerf something. Do you, do you know what that means? It's a word that's widely used in a community that I'm involved in, like in a, in a walk of life that I'm part of. It's an expression that's used widely. Millions and probably billions of people are aware of what the word nerf means. It's, 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 a, it's a toy company as well. But do you know what that means? Probably not. I do. But I wouldn't use that word as the name of a mainstream product, assuming that everyone else will know what I know. It, it's just not it's just not a good way of doing things. Uh, nerf, by the way, means to make something less powerful. It means to make something simpler, take away its abilities. Uh, it's usually used in like video games when I don't know you've got like a really strong character and then it gets nerfed to mean it's less powerful after a patch or a hotfix or something. So to to nerf, I don't know, nerf a car would be the sort of like Volkswagen t the the emissions thing. You know, they nerf the cars and they were less powerful. That's what nerf means. But anyway, it's not the point. But yeah, I was quite confident in saying I've never heard of this word. I got qu not quite a bit of kickback, but I was meant I was made to feel a bit stupid if I'm honest, in the initial response when I raised this with Autodesk. Not by Autodesk, by the way. This was by someone else in that feed that I was part of. Made me Try and make me feel a bit stupid. And I stood, I stood my ground. I'm like, no, that, I'm not the problem. I've been around for 40 years. If I've not heard that word, millions of other people won't have either. I can say that with absolute stonewall confidence. So that's then what I did. I, just, just to back myself up here. Got in touch with my wife. My wife's just ticked 30. High five. And um, she works in educational recruitment. So she speaks with teachers in high schools and goes into schools every day. And she's worked, done the rounds in, in education, degree in psychology. It doesn't matter what her credentials are. doesn't matter what anyone's credentials are. It just doesn't. She never heard of the word dojo either. Never, not once. I then went into teams, spoke to the first five people in the recent chat list in my teams. Uh, first person was a colleague, degree in English literature. Never heard of the word dojo. In fact, her response was, sounds rude. <laughs> uh, next person was an IT lad. And he said, no, it sounds like a dummy. What? Never heard of it. Is that rude? <laughs> he said, is it rude as well? And then that's the, pretty much the response that I got. So, but w w why would I, why would we have heard of the word dojo? It's not something that we're exposed to. People around where I'm from don't use that word. We don't come into contact with it. So... To call your resource something like that and then expect that people would know what that is to then go into it and find it is a really bad move. That's where I'm coming from with, with this. I'm not just mocking the name because, oh, somebody assumed that I'm as cultured as them. No, the problem here is that, look, I've done this YouTube channel for over six years. But probably It's knocking on seven years now. Few people know how difficult it is, more than I do, how hard it is to market and get people to engage with Autodesk's content online. It's it's a losing battle because you're a niche within a niche within a niche. For me, for example, I'm dealing with, in, this, in the early days when I was dealing with just Inventor software, 
that's Inventor, which is the lesser known of all of the 3D CAD software, which is a niche within engineering, which is a niche within work, which is a niche because few people are searching for work stuff online. So it's a niche within a niche within a niche. So to try and engage with people on that content online is a losing battle. It's a struggle. And you only have to look at Autodesk's community social accounts. In fact, any of Autodesk's social accounts, their Twitters, their Facebooks, to know that they don't get a lot of engagement. They put a tweet out, they only get a couple of likes, they get a couple of engagement statistics. And that's, I wish it was better. It would be nice if it was better. I want it to be better. But fact is, people just aren't interested in engaging with work stuff unless it's free hand-me-outs, easy, digestible, consumable stuff that benefits them immediately. And that's just the sad fact of the matter. This will benefit people, no doubt, but not if they don't know what it is. And another thing someone said to me as well was, well, you Googled the name of it when you when it came through to your inbox, you Googled what it was. That means most people will, and they'll find out what it is, and then they'll, they'll know it's a learning resource and go into it. I'm like, no, they won't. No, they won't. That's not going to happen. I Googled it because it came through to my expert in the inbox, which is anything that goes through to that is normally something which is insightful, beneficial, and it's not marketing fluff. So I had to Google it because I thought, well, that's okay. It's obviously for my attention. It's something that I need to be aware of. So I Googled it. If I'd saw that link on an Autodesk website, I would not have clicked it because I don't know who Autodesk think their demographic is for this, but I don't believe for a second that people visit Autodesk's community websites whilst they're bored and they're just free browsing, clicking links that they don't recognize because they've got nothing better to do. I assume they go to their websites with a specific intention of doing something or looking for something specific. They're looking for a link that they recognize. They're not clicking links that they don't recognize. So if they see the word community dojo and they have no idea what a dojo is, why would they click into it? Who's got time for that? I don't understand why they would do that. You've just made a really difficult job of making this discoverable even harder. And you've hindered it. It's a really good resource. It has potential to be amazing. And honestly, in a few years' time, if this ultimately does fail and it doesn't get the engagement that it should have done, you can't look past the name. Haven't been the reason for that. And here's a good example of what I'm talking about. This video on the main page, right? This website has been up for a couple of weeks. I think this video has been up for uh, two or three days. This is the main focal video that explains what this entire project is. And this video had three views yesterday. It's now got 11 and I'm six of those views. So click into this. It's now got 12. I'm now the 12th. <laughs> I'm half of those views probably over half of them. That's how bad it is. That's how difficult it is to drive engagement to Autodesk's community sites. Like I'm not making it up. That it, That's it. Look, 12 views. And if, if you want to argue, well, okay, people can visit the page and not click the video. Well, then what makes you think they're going to click a link? If they don't click this video, then there's a good chance that they're not going to click the link that they don't recognize it. And yeah, it is early days, but this, if it was me, I would always have in my mind, is it the name that's doing it? Is it the name? Would we have more views if we give it a more easily findable, easily searchable, discoverable name? Would it have 100? Would it have 200 views by now if we gave it a better name? The group network, you know, something like that. Uh, I think they've got something else called the group network, but just something that's something that makes it simple. There's a lot to be said for keeping it simple. As someone who's really struggled to make Autodesk's content and their products appealing on the internet, there's a lot to be said for keeping it simple. And naming something like this, I just think yeah, you're just making a really difficult job almost impossible. So, but anyway, right, that's that's my rant about the name. Uh, I'm not picking on it because I, I just think it's a stupid name. I think they're actually it's actually damaging to the program. And... Um, a couple of people were making references to like, oh, it's in the Karate Kid film. Come on, you must have seen the Karate Kid. I'm like, mate, I'm, I'm 40 and that film's too old for me. It's a 1986 film. I don't know who the demographic of this dojo is like, but <laughs> it's not like, 
Oh yeah, you, come on, everyone should have. Everyone should know what the community dojo is because it's in the Karate Kid. Ah, come on. And then I think someone else made a reference to Seinfeld. I think he mentioned it once in a Seinfeld. Never made, which never made it over to Europe. That's like an early '90s TV show. It was like said once in a TV show in Seinfeld, anyway. But look, I, I, would, I really do want this to to succeed. I really, really do. I just think it needs a name change early days as well like now before people find out what it is um because there's nothing worse than autodesk changing the names and changing brands once things pick up and take off it makes its way through algorithms and uh gets burned into other websites and whatnot in, in articles i'm waffling i'm waffling i'm gonna knock it on the head there mate that's all i've got so check it out it, all nonsense aside about the name it is a really good resource if it's something you think you you could use check it out head on over there links in the description um and i don't know i kind of want i kind of just stubbornly out of principle want autodesk to know how many people head over there as as a, as a result of me rather than just organically through their own means because I don't want them to, know, I don't want them to feel like their names kind of contribute towards the success of it, which is really stupid and, and arrogant and uh, childish in a way. But I, I genuinely can't, I really feel strongly about how bad this name is. Anyway, anyway, it's not my fight. It's not my fight. It's someone else's problem. But anyway, there you go. That's all I've got. See you in the next one. Yeah.